Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as is affirmed by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he descends to the lowest heaven every last third of the night. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Yanzilu rabbuna ila samaa dunya kulu layla, kulu layla tin. Hina yabaka thuluth al-layla al-akhir fa yakool, من يدعني فيستجيب له ومن يسألني فاعطيه ومن يغفرني فاغفر له متفق عليه. In this hadith, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said, Our Lord descends to the lowest, uh, to the lowest heaven every last third of the night, and he says. Who is supplicating to me? Then I will give him. And who is asking of me? And I will give him. And who is seeking my forgiveness? Then I will forgive him. And this is agreed upon in Bukhari and Muslim. This is a very direct text which affirms for any believing Muslim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends every last third of the night. That's what the Prophet ﷺ said. It's collected in Bukhari and Muslim, so we have no doubt as a Muslim about its authenticity. قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ يَنْزِلُوا رَبُّنَا إِلَى سَمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا Our Lord descends to the, uh, to the lowest heaven, as it is translated often. What do we learn from this hadith? We learn many, many benefits from this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Sheikh Salih bin Fuzan, hafizahullah taala, mentions the main point regarding this hadith. Qala Sheikh, "An fihi thubut nuzul ilahi." He said, "In this hadith, it affirms that Allah descends." وهو من صفات الأفعال وفي وفي الحديث أيضا إثبات علو علو لله تعالى. He said also that in this hadith that this نزول that it is a uh, divine characteristic of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and it is from one of the actions that he does صفة فعلية. And in this hadith, also it affirms that Allah is uh, the that Allah is above His creation, the Almighty, in a manner that suits His Majesty, Subhanahu wa Taala. And then the Sheikh goes on to say, he said because that descending only can happen from being above, that when you descend a nuzul comes from alu that you descend from something you descend from being uh, above to below dissension only takes place from going down from uh, uh, somewhere else and so when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam described that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he descends he descends from his alu from being above his creation down to the lowest heaven as the Prophet ﷺ said in this Nas. If we didn't have the Nas, we wouldn't speak about it. But this is what the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ said. And this is a refutation, as the Shaykh goes on to say, of those people who change the meaning of the Hadith. And they change the meaning of the text where the text where the Prophet ﷺ said, said Nuzul, Yanzilu. They take it to mean Nuzul Ar-Rahmah. Nuzul, the mercy, that the mercy of Allah descends. And that His command descends. But the Shaykh goes on to say that the Asl, he said, لَأَنَّ الْأَصْلْ الْحَقِيقَةِ وَعَدَمَ الْحَذَفِ He said that the origin, that when we deal with the Quran and the Sunnah, when we deal with the text, is that the origin is we take it on its zahir, we take it on its, uh, its apparent meaning. And we don't change that meaning unless we have a sadif, unless we have something that that is evidence 
from the Quran and the Sunnah, or from the Arabic language, or from the Urf, Urf, uh, the, um, the customs, to show that that is not what's meant, that it's not meant in its apparent meaning. However, we don't have that. What we have is a direct nas that the Prophet ﷺ said, Yanzulu Rabbana ila samad dunya. That Allah, our Lord, descends to the lowest heaven. And then He asks these questions of us. So this shows us that this is a prime time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be standing in Qiyamah layl and to be making supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Shaykh went on to say, he said that the reason we take this on its zahir, al that in that it is uh, in its apparent meaning, because there is no nothing to illustrate that we don't take it in its apparent me- apparent meaning. He said because when he said when Allah subhanahu wa taala says men yid'uni fastajibilahu that whoever supplicates to me or calls upon me, then I will uh, answer him. Then. The Shaykh goes on to say, how is it possible from our intellect to be able to say that that means mercy? That when Allah says that who is asking of me and I will give to him, that that means that we can change the meaning to mean mercy? Or relating to his command? That That's not possible. It can't be said and it cannot be understood this way. And so this is how Ahlul Sunnah affirms the divine names and attributes and characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we take it on his zahir, as Allah said it, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said it, in Sahih uh, Ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we don't change the meaning. We don't distort the meanings. We accept it and affirm it as Allah affirmed it for Himself, and we don't go beyond that. We don't distort the meaning. We don't come up with a new explanation, especially something that is not substantiated from the Qur'an and the Sunnah or the Ijma Salaf Salih radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and anything I said correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anything I said incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad